Here you go guys, got this just a few hours ago, I'm gonna fade this up, put it into little fillet pieces, flour, egg, panko, and the fryer. Just a little fillet it, each side, deep fry crispy, this side I'm gonna fillet it, chop it into thin strips, shashimi, stay tuned.
Okay, now this is ready to be floured, egged, and punk. Stay tuned. My uhu fillets. I got my flour, free garlic, salt, and pepper, egg bath, and panko mixed with furikake. I got some chili peppers in there. This is a nice kick, not too hot, but you can certainly taste it. Flour, nice coat. Let's get a nice egg bath. And I want to cover it generous, genuinely. My panko, ooh, my panko furikake. Look at that beautiful color, beautiful texture. It's going to be amazing. So, this house should look golden, crispy brown. Still moist on the inside, crispy on the outside. Very, very delicious. Oh no. Leather back. Here where you kind of lie. This is one piece scale, no scales. Very delicious. So I'm gonna fillet it. A very easy fish to fillet, very cool. Look at that. Very cool, very oily meat. Similar to Saba, macro family. Fried crispy, eat to the bowl. Very delicious. Panko, we're gonna fry this thing crispy. Skin down first, make sure that thing cooks all the way. So you about five, six minutes on skin side and then two to three minutes on the other side. Should we go? Our uhu is all pal cooked, ready for go. This is the ribs part. I like to see that part. It's a lot of good tasty meat. You just gotta take off the big bones. But I mean we all eat pork ribs and you know all kind of ribs, so same thing, yeah. But yeah, this thing's gonna be very delicious. Stay tuned. All right, cooking 101. Make sure you're always washing the dishes while you're cooking, yeah? That way, things is easier. It's already done. Yeah? So, quick tip to all you chefs out there. While your fish is cooking, take some time to wash some of your stuff. Okay. This is about the typical size. Don't get much bigger than this. These, this, they're so much, they're so plentiful. So if you see these guys, they got nothing else to shoot. Take one home, just try it. So I'm gonna start from here. So cut off the tail. See that knife? Careful, yeah. This is beautiful meat. Look at that. Fat content all over. And the skin is like sandpaper, so it's easy to skin. Look at that. Easy. Nice, firm, oily. Look at that. Put it on our bed of cabbage. And cut off the ribs. And it's fine. Thin. 
just taste this nicely with a little bit of cabbage. Alright, this is from one, maybe like a pound and a half tops, maybe. Right, and you can make a nice little plate of sashimi. Yeah, so if you're out there, this is a very underrated fish, the Kalale, also known as the orange knife tang. Gray, grayish, greenish color with these orange knives and sand paper like skin. So, this is the Kala family, the Kalale. So, a lot of stuff you can do, you can actually make sandpaper with this. It feels just like sandpaper, kind of similar to the shark. And makes great meat, great, great on a grill. Filleted sashimi. Let's just try this. Very delicious meat, firm, nice flavoring. Mm, with that show you too. Mm. Goodness. Alright, so first time my mom's gonna try this Kalale sashimi. Very big fan of the raw fish family, so so some cabbage along with some the piece, especially that sauce too. Yeah, good yeah. sauce. Yeah, nice firm, delicious meat. Yeah, very good. There you have it, everyone. Kalale, and it's coming over this side. So we have our fried crispy. Oh, very very well cooked. Brown, yeah, just like that. Yeah, so this is a leather back, skin on, filleted, pong code. Very delicious. Good texture, great flavor. Let's try this. Oh, with the skin on, that moist, that oil, that pong code. The furikake tastes that instantly. Hmm. Very, very delicious. Mm. Do you have this, buddy? Dinner cut in one hour. Punko fried crispy. Sashimi. I have it a perfectly constructed plate. One scoop rice topped it furikake. I got two pieces of, um, of the panko uhu. One with tartar sauce and the other one with cocktail sauce. I got my nice little bed of cabbage with some of the kalale of the kalale um, filet sashimi and I got a piece of fried crispy leather back also known as lai. Okay so I have my uhu, my kalale, lai, cooked in three different dishes all three different dishes all delicious all from the ocean to the table now within a couple hours.